Hi there folks. In this video we're going to have a look at decapping some Burdan Prime brass using an improvised hydraulic method. Got some uh, 303 brass here. Get the camera to focus on that. And this is Burdan Prime. It's, uh, I think it's Belgian manufacturer if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, pretty good brass and it takes the two a .217 size Burdan primer and it's once fired of course and this is a pretty simple process basically all we've got we've got our brass filled up to the top with water you can see the water inside those I've got a spacer for the brass to fit inside and I'm using a uh, I think it's a 9 16th size socket and as you can see there the uh, the brass fits inside the socket as a spacer and of course the socket has a hole through it so that's somewhere for the primer to get pushed out of. I'm doing this on the cement floor because there's going to be a little bit of water sprayed out when we're uh, at this and I've got a piece of old wood here to set the uh, socket on so I don't want to damage the socket. I've also got a quarter inch nut driver and that's about just about the right size in a fire to 30 caliber size case to fit inside. We've also got a plastic face mallet and a container to put our deprimed brass into. So we'll zoom in here a little bit so we can see what's going on. So basically all we're going to do is provide uh, a sharp blow to the uh, to the primer and we're going to transfer that blow using hydraulics or in this case we're just using a, a simple punch to provide that hydraulic impulse and that will force out the primer. So one nice thing about one nice thing about this uh, quarter inch socket driver is that it fits the square portion that goes in the socket actually fits in as a, almost like a pilot into the uh, you know, the cartridge case and stays in there pretty firmly and then it provides a very tight seal and that's kind of handy keeps everything lined up Let's not be cooperative. Alright, there's a look at a decapped case. You can see the waters in the primer pocket there. You can see the central anvil in the primer pocket. And of course it's undamaged because we're not scraping or gouging at it. We're just pushing the primer out with water pressure. Alright, with all the uh, primers removed, all we've got left is a little bit of water on the floor and some primers, a little bit of a mess. But is after all only water, so no big deal. 
bring that up and uh, off we go. And we've got our freshly cleaned out primers. 